Let's talk about lube. This week's Sexy Saturday. Welcome. Okay, here's the deal. The vagina is an amazing thing. It's self-lubricating. But that doesn't mean there's always enough lube, okay? I want to talk about this because it's a topic uh, that's important, but it's not a topic any of us think about, okay? So, if you don't have enough lube during vaginal intercourse, it can be painful for your partner, and sex is not supposed to be painful. So, sometimes you need some additional lubrication. If you remember arousal non-concordance, your partner could be turned on as all get out, and she may not lubricate. She may not be wet. Do you know why that is? Is it because of the day of the week, her hydration level, her hormones, because the, the sun's in retrograde? Yes. There's so many reasons why a woman's natural lubrication level can vary, okay? This isn't about a judgment on that. It's normal. Women will change in their lifetime. Some are consistent until perimenopause or menopause. Some stay consistent their whole lifetime. Some vary any given day of the week or the time of the day. So again, you need to have lube on hand. Here's what you don't need on hand. The Walmarts of lube. They're actually unhealthy uh, by a lot of standards. I'm going to include a link to Dangerous Lily where they talk about uh, grading some lubes because you want a lube that is iso osmotic and yeah I have to look at my notes because I can't get that phrase to stick and it needs to be 1200 milli osmoles or less guess what none of the well-known commercial lubes hit that um, so slippery stuff is a good one in fact I just ordered it on Amazon and the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to come from a place of knowledge. This isn't lube. This isn't lube. Olive oil. This is not designed to be put in the human body. Don't do it. Don't do that to your partner. Don't do that to yourself. There's a lot of pluses and minuses when it comes to lube. I want you to take away two things from today's video. Get some quality lube. Click on the link. Look at the how it's rated and get it ordered today. Two, remember... If you're doing anal sex, that's not self-lubricating. The key to making that pleasurable is lube and lots of it. Now, there's different types of lube. Uh, you've got water-based, that's what I recommend. It doesn't stain. However, a quality water-based lube, you may need to reapply because it will wear out because you're using the quality type that's safe. Uh, silicone lubes are amazing. They're more expensive and they stain. And they also can't be used with silicone sex toys where the water-based lube can be used basically with all sex toys. So I just wanted to hit on this, make you think. There's going to be some links below. It's not something men think about. Also, if you've ever been told spit is appropriate as a lube, no. Unacceptable. All right? I want you all to have a great week. Lube up. Have fun.